hey, 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 good morning, good morning, you guys, hi. It's David at Bali and Beyond, and I'm with my new friend, Sanjeev. And Sanjeev, right? Is it yes. Sanjeev? Yes. Is, uh, um, he's a, a teacher um, and a practitioner. So a teacher and a student, yeah. right? <laughs> and and uh, of meditation. But we've been talking a little bit, and, and uh, I see that Sanjeev is actually a, a you know a, um, a student of life. <laughs> and and uh, um, so when did did you, you were saying that when you were quite young, you realized that that there was something going on here, and that you were certain you did to search and figure it out. Tell us about that. Yeah, uh, basically. Uh, I was born in India and when I was at the age of 11 year old, you know, I wanted to know about what is the purpose of life, what is the truth, why we are here, how can we learn, grow and evolve to infinite possibilities. So this kind of the deep inside question within myself. So that's what, yeah. And so, um, <clears throat> but then you went to school and, and then you went and got a, a degree. In yes, yeah, basically after that uh, I got uh, educated in India and uh, I finished my um, occupational therapy degree and uh, then I practice in India, I practice in Canada. But uh, I didn't like that profession because I was not meant to be. As I said, you know, when I was at the age of 11 year old, I wanted to know about the truth, what is the purpose of life, you know. So this kind of the question which brought me to the place where I am right now at this moment. Nice. Mm -hmm. And, and um, to your, are you 40? Yeah, 42 years. Yeah. 40, 40, 44 years, I guess. 44, yeah. <laughs> and so that's a long time uh, that you've been studying. Did, yeah. You came to Canada when? I came to Canada maybe 2005. 2005. Yeah. And, and uh, and then you you wrote a book yes yeah there is a little bit of story about it how did i write a book mm -hmm. you know as soon as i came to canada i started practice in hospital but i was not happy content satisfied at all in calgary in uh, in grand prairie grand prairie yeah. well of course you weren't happy in grand <laughs> <laughs> just kidding you guys. Yeah. yeah then Everybody i loves grand prairie. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Then uh, I met uh, with a beautiful soul, you know, and uh, she she's from Canada, and uh, we started living on the bank of ocean, river, mountain, you know. What do you mean living on the bank of ocean, river, mountain? Yeah, basically, we uh, started connecting with the nature, you know, in the form of mindfulness practice or meditation practice. We gone for the silence practice for few years, you know. And uh, that's what I incorporate into my teaching. Silence practice? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That wouldn't work in an interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work in interview. <laughs> no. So you were with this woman. Yes. And you traveled? And like in, yes, in, in I went camped. to the, yeah, in the Vancouver. Yeah. yeah. And uh, different part of British Columbia as well. Camping? Not camping, just live on the bank of ocean with house, you know. Okay. But it was different kind of life, you know, it was not like... Uh, we were very much talking, you know, we were very much chatting, but we used to live in a silence practice. And the meaning of silence is to have a deep connection with the nature, is to just remain in our own space, you know, and that's what we did, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, you, you, um, were you um, in the country? Yeah. And you live in this little house and, and yeah. you practice the silence? And yes, exactly. Were you studying as well? No, we were not uh, studying. That's what uh, I shared, you know, like uh, whatever I incorporate into my um, exploration, discovery, everything comes through the unknown space, you know, from beyond, you know. Mm -hmm. It is not about a study or reading, you know. It is not about meeting with the people, but the beautiful thought started popping into unknown space. Then we started writing book, then we started writing article, then we started teaching the people, and that's what the kind of transformation or awakening I can say. Okay, so sign it like Vipassana? No, maybe you can call it as a Vipassana or what, whatever you name it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, basically the silence practice was different kind. Uh, like uh, we used to 
live on the bank of ocean or inside the house you know and it can be done at any place so basically we close our eyes and bring the sensation of awareness of the breath at the top of the nostril mm -hmm. while breathing while breathe out you know and it doesn't matter whether we can do at our house or on the bank of ocean even at working place you know even we are driving the car you know we can be much more aware conscious alert into the present moment awareness that is the meaning of silence practice okay yeah nice yeah and so from beyond uh, information came yes and uh, and you were able to write the article write the book nice. and we have started uh, like uh, even in the form of sharing my talk with the people you know mm -hmm. i have never read any kind of the book i mm -hmm. never did any kind of uh, meeting with the people other than this girl but the thing has started manifesting in autopilot yes. in effortless effort way and that's what it is nice mm -hmm. so now <coughs> you're carrying a message to people of calgary exactly and uh, you you uh, you teach um, mindfulness yes sir and and so um in my journey to help people um meditate right um my experience is that many people don't know the benefits exactly and and uh, so um we struggle a bit yes. to uh share with people the benefits of meditation can yes. you tell us a few benefits there are many benefits of meditation you know the first benefit like it help us to live into the present moment awareness by let go and disconnect with the thought of the past and the future because most of the people are having depression anxiety disorder stress anger why because they are struggling with too many useless and unwanted thoughts you know so what happens in the meditation practice it create a powerful wonderful awesome and beautiful thought from effortless effort you know from unknown space you know this is the second advantage the third advantage of meditation practice it create a fragrance of unconditional love and it create a fragrance of self love as well and bring more compassion more forgiveness more kindness more beautiful things into our life another part of the benefit of meditation practice as we know that most of the people are creating a stress anger you know negative emotion like shame guilt why because they are busy and occupied with too many thoughts you know and we know like every day we go for more than 65000 thoughts in a day so what happens meditation how the benefit of meditation it will help us to slow down pay attention and watch out our thoughts right as i said the more we busy the more we occupied with our thoughts the more we create pain and suffering so therefore meditation practice help us to pay attention slow down and watch out thought and it create a space or gap between two thoughts two words two action you know so when it does like that what will happen it it help us to become slow down and watch out our thoughts and we can bring awareness into the breathing meditation practice at the top of the nostril just for example if i am having a thought of stress thought of anger thought of fear thought of shame thought of guilt what we have to do the meditation practice like we have to bring the sensation of awareness at the top of the nostril because breath is a life force energy so the more we connect with the breath the more we can live into the present moment awareness so another benefit of meditation practice it help us to transcend our ego to transcend our mind because most of the people are living on the circumference and circumference is full of useless and unwanted thought of desire ego you know so when we do the meditation practice it break down the ego and ego is connected with the useless and unwanted thoughts and the more we live into the thought of the past and the future the more ego comes into our life and the meaning of ego try to feel you like i am a powerful i am a dominant you know so meditation help us to break down the ego you know and it can help us to connect with oneness with synchronicity with much more alignment and it help us 
to discover who we really are because when we go for the meditation it take us at the center of being and center of being is full of love full of compassion you know uh, full of unconditional love i can say and kindness gratitude appreciation affirmation but most of the people are living on the circumference and circumference as i said it is a full of ego mind you know distracts and deviation attachment lust you know so, so meditation circumference yes yes so meditation help down to break the uh, superficial layer and it take you at the center of being where we can live with the oneness with the alignment you know with just compassion with the deep gratitude with affirmation and that's what the meditation practice does <laughs> <laughs> i like man <laughs> if you want i can say so many benefit of meditation yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because i know i have experienced those thing into my life yes. i don't know about other whatever i experience whatever i explore whatever I discovered into my life when i started living on the bank of ocean <coughs> river that is my observation you know mm -hmm. and because i witness those thing you know i witness those thing and that's what it is mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but my meditation is scientific meditation not connected with any religion not connected with hindu religion buddhist religion no it's mm -hmm. totally for me it doesn't it doesn't make sense so um mm -hmm. my imagining yes is that uh no matter what um faith yes that somebody is mm. uh that meditation will benefit mm. so if they want to be a hindu or a buddhist or or a christian or yeah, a jew it, or it doesn't matter it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter yeah And, and that everybody yeah uh, because meditation break the limiting belief system as as well you know yes. that is another benefit of mind and it bring more clarity it bring the deep understanding you yes. know so it doesn't matter whether we are hindu muslims you know or uh, uh, jews you know it doesn't matter because whatever i share with the people it is scientific way of meditation mm -hmm. right i'm talking about the breath and mm -hmm. breath is a life force energy right mm -hmm. and only breath can connect us into the present moment awareness mm -hmm. so and it has nothing to do with the buddhism with the hinduism mm -hmm. with other kinds of the things yeah mm -hmm. it's real today yeah it's real today man yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when when you go uh, to corporations yes and uh, do you uh, teach some of their people to meditate yes because yes. in corporation most of the people are having stress anger fear they are not happy content and satisfied because they have been working you know so they are not able to balance their life you know work life balance and they are not able to manage their time effectively you mm -hmm. know where i shared like how to be more mindful how to live into the present moment awareness because as soon as they started living into the thought of the past suppose if something has happened last night with his wife you know or yes. with his kids so the next morning when we go for working suppose in it corporation while we are working physically we are present into the moment but mentally i am thinking about study things you know whatever has happened last night so what will happen it will create more distraction deviation so and it finally what will happen it will affect the productivity level because i am not present i am not into the present moment awareness i am not mindful definitely it will affect the productivity level so where i play significant role like how to be disconnect from the thought of the past and the future yes. how to let go of all those kind of the thoughts mm -hmm. and then we can be more present mindfully and it will raise the productivity level in corporations are believing that yeah they have they, because they are getting benefit of it yes obviously yes. and often the the ceo yes is already meditating yes yeah cuz and that's how you get to be the ceo yes i <laughs> studied <laughs> yeah. i met to one ceo he came and the same thing you know like uh, the guy uh, he lives in calgary and uh, he has so many problems because he connected with accountability responsibility you know handling the people you know mm -hmm. so and he is getting much more benefit of meditation mm -hmm. and that's what he's coming to me always mm -hmm. yeah nice yeah so you, people come and this is you in your home no like my uh, like uh, office and uh, sometimes i go to corporations oh, yes so those are the things yeah do you have an office no i operate from the home office yes. at this moment yeah yes. but i would like to settle down my office so yes. yeah nice. but i go to one clinic also it's, it is a design studio clinic when i bring my uh, personal client yeah mm -hmm. okay. we think it, from kind of watching what's happening hmm. in the world around meditation yes. that it's actually growing 
Yes. It, it's like, uh, it's, I think it's Expanding. growing yeah, yeah. exponentially. Yes, it's, exponentially. Uh, yeah. And, and, uh, mm -hmm. and that um, yoga, yes. um, such as it is in, yes. in the West, has, has, has um, really introduced a lot of people to exactly. meditation. Yes. And, and, and many of the yoga teachers I don't actually know that much about teaching meditation, yeah, yeah. but huh. but they're at least opening the door. Yeah, right, you know, and yeah. and, uh, um, and and I'm kind of the same. I, I I'm not a great meditation teacher, <laughs> you know, but I, but I see the need. Yes, sir. Um, mm. to carry a message. We have a man coming tonight yeah. uh, to teach a class, okay, first yes. time, yeah. and uh, uh, we see the need to help people. Yeah, because you know like it is scientific as i said you know mm -hmm. and it help us from inside you know so when you say scientific mm. uh, how, how what do you mean means as i said like it is not connected with any religion okay. first of yeah. all yeah. yes yeah Th that is the first meaning of scientific scientific means as i said you know whatever i explore whatever i discovered with the help of deep connection with the nature like the sun moon water you know mm -hmm. It's totally scientific, you know. It is not based on any kind of religion. I see. Yeah. So yeah. this is the way. Yeah. So um, I think of scientific as more um, um, tested and proven. No, it is not the way. Yeah. It is natural. I can say not scientific, but we can say natural. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Because um, when hmm. I'm speaking to people about meditation, I like to talk about the health yeah. benefits. Yes. Uh, the physical health benefits. Yes. Too uh, much. That's it, what I shared. Yeah. Hmm. And and. Uh, and and it helps the mind. Yeah, the and actual mind. Yes, and, and physical physical mind. You know, and not only that, it will, it will just declutter. You know, De dissolve yeah. all yeah. kinds of useless and unwanted thoughts, in order so to detoxify create, the mind. Yeah, detoxify <laughs> the mind. You know, yeah, just to get rid of all kinds of the useless and unwanted yes. thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Huh? In the, what do they call this? Uh, like the <laughs> temple. Yeah, the temple. <laughs> yes, and so huh. in the temple, yeah, uh, needs de decluttering. Yeah, decluttering. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. meditation is the great declutterer. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Maybe that's the whole story of Jesus in uh, cleaning the temple. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, of the the money changers. Yeah. You know, that's a Christian yeah. story. Yeah. 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 Um, it, because I often wonder, you know, why, you know, we call this the temples. Right. Yeah. You know, mm. and and, uh, and it's just recently that somebody pointed out that it must mean that God lives in here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and and mm. just saying, mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever you believe is fine. Mm. And, and uh, um, <coughs> I'm wondering yeah. if uh, you could maybe take us yes. on a little five minute uh, meditation. meditation. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. Would I you would like, like to, to do that? Yes, right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right now, would you guys like to join us uh, for a little five-minute meditation? We're just gonna, you know, um, just whatever you normally do. Yeah, five yeah. minutes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and take us in and yes, and bring us back. Yes, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't leave us there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Would you like me to time it? Five minutes. Yeah, five to um, five minutes. Uh, five to seven minutes. That's all. Yeah, he can. He, I think we can just trust that he'll, he'll know yeah, it. He'll yeah. know when to. Yeah. Or he would have to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm giving you a few instructions, which is very important. Wherever we are, or whatsoever activity we are doing, first of all, if we are sitting, we have to relax, totally relax, deeply relax, profoundly relax. We have to close our eyes, you know, the first thing. The second thing, we have to take the deep breath, or even if we don't take the deep breath, we have to take the normal relaxing breath. breath. Okay, so another thing, like in the first few minutes, one or two minutes, there since the mind is busy, occupied in the beginning, you know, for one or two minutes. So let it be busy, let it be occupied. You are, you must be thinking the thoughts are coming, the thoughts are going. Let them come, let them, let them go. You have to witness it, witness of all those kind of the thoughts without judgment, without labeling. Don't judge or label whatever thoughts are coming. We are a witnesser, we are a watcher. We are just observing the thoughts without labeling, without judgment. Another thing we have to do, we have to feel the sensation of awareness of the breath at the top of the nostril. Because when we go for the deep breath like this, we can feel the sensation of awareness of the breath at the top of the nostril. So 
while breathing while breathe out we can feel it you know maybe it's difficult to feel in the beginning but eventually you can feel it and when we go for meditation practice as i said first one or two minutes we will be too much busy you know let it be busy let it be occupied don't force yourself to stop it the more you try to stop it the more it will uh, manifest so just let it happens just relax yourself relax your breath relax your body relax your mind everything totally relax and the very important thing what while breathing while breathe out maybe it will happen that we can feel little bit sleepy kind of things like that that is okay let it be happens like that the second thing we have to feel the awareness of the breath at the top of the nostril and maybe sometimes it happens that you know that you are getting distracted maybe you will go into the thought of your uh, husband wife kid you know so wherever thought will take you you have to go and experience them wherever it takes you maybe it will take you to the working place take you to the kids take you to the wife wherever it is L i want you to go there don't make a resistance don't force yourself but we have to practice it doesn't matter how many times we disconnected from the sensation of awareness of the breath at the top of the nostril but we have to bring it back you know we have to come down at the top of the nostril we have to feel the sensation of the awareness of the breath it doesn't matter how many times even the thousand times you get disconnected from the sensation of awareness of the breath at the top of the nostril but we have to come back you have to come back if you distracted 100 times if your thought will take you into the thought of the past or future you should go there you should observe it you should experience it but our practice is to bring the sensation of awareness of the breath at the top of the nostril please go ahead
gradually we can open our eyes. Wow. Thank you. So, that was easy, wasn't it? That's easy. You know, so many times people say, um, I, well, I don't know how to meditate. Yes. And, and th what you just showed us is that... Yeah. Is so very simple, simple, very simple. Very simple. And yeah. it doesn't matter wherever we are, whatsoever activity we are doing, you know. When I go to the corporation, even you know like uh, we teach them like how to be more mindful mm -hmm. if you are getting a stress thought of anger thought of fear just bring the sensation of awareness of the breath at the top of the nostril because breath can connect into this present moment awareness mm -hmm. and only breath can discover who we really are yes. and then it will help us to let go and disconnect with all thoughts of yes a stress thought of anger thought of yes. negative emotion yeah. And the other thing that yeah. folks often say to me is, well, my mind is too busy. Yeah. And, and this little technique that mm -hmm. we just learned, it deals with the busyness of the mind. Yeah. And, and uh, I mean, sometimes what happens for me is the thought comes. Yeah. And, uh, and away I go. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, and forget that I've left yeah. to go be with the thought, yeah. you know, which is in, in the future right. or the past. Yeah. And then... And then sometimes it takes a, a, a couple of seconds or whatever to remember, oh, I'm meditating. Yeah. Back to the breath. Yeah. And there's nothing there, it's just the breath. Yeah. But it's then we're present. Yes. And uh, as I said, there is a space or gap between out breath and in breath. So when we are aware of the gap or the space <coughs> between them, the more we can be present, the more it will help us to dissolve all kinds of the useless thoughts of anger, thought of uh, So the uh, detoxing negative. happens there. Yeah, it is in already in the autopilot. Yeah, right, it is so already. In the space between the in and the out oh, yes. is detoxing. Yes, you can say. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Can we ask one more question here? Yes. Yeah. What is the best time to meditate? And I try to meditate, but I can't seem to focus. Should I join a group? This is from Roshni. In Africa. Nice. Okay. So, that's time to meditate. Is yeah. it good to join a group? So, what I feel, you know, we can meditate early in the morning, you know, before I started any kind of the work, you know. Why? Because when we go on for sleep whole night, the inward journey has begun, you know. And we fe when we wake up early in the morning, what is happening? We feel too much relaxation, you know. And when we are totally relaxed, you know, relax our body, relax our mind and we have to relax our breath. So definitely when we do meditation early in the morning, it will help us very much. Nice. Yeah. So early in the morning is uh, 6, 5? Yeah, at any time, you know, at mm -hmm. any time. Mm -hmm. And again, since our mind, we are very bu busy with our life, you know, and we can do meditation at any place. That's what I said, you know. Mm -hmm. We can do while working, while driving, while sitting, while taking care of the kids, we can do meditation because mm -hmm. it is a scientific mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and uh, there is nothing to join a group you know like uh, or if there is opportunity we can join the group but we can uh, start from ourselves yeah. yes we have a on monday nights we yeah. call the meditation mondays okay and uh, we just have a group it's very loose we yeah. meditate we sit for 20 minutes yeah we talk a little bit about it before we yes. talk about it after yes and it's a uh, it's not um uh oh. it's just it's it's the uh, it's nice to meditate in a group sometimes. yes yeah it, yeah it yeah because nice it will raise our energy it mm -hmm. because if like-minded people sit together you know and do meditation definitely it will help us to raise our energy frequency mm -hmm. vibration mm -hmm. yeah it works so the the whole idea that we we made the meditation stool for yes sir. was was so that the, the my my belief yes sir. was that if people had a a, a space yes like a little uh, uh, spiritual space or yes. sacred space or yeah. meditation space, yes. um, they were more likely to do meditation. Yeah, exactly. It would, the space would call them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, yeah. <coughs> so that's what this is about. Yes. And it's For me, it's a perfect height. Yes. Uh, you sit on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do yeah. you? Yeah, but this is uh, much more better. Yeah. 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 And, and uh, I sit, uh, when people come and they sit here, they go, oh, <laughs> this is perfect. You know? When they cross the legs and, <laughs> yeah. and, and sit for meditation, so that was the, and then 
um, when I made this, I naively thought everybody would want one. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, from then came, well, uh, in speaking to hundreds of people, that many people were meditating. Yes. And uh, but they wanted to. Exactly. So that's how this came about. So we started to talk about meditation and invite people to come and be guests to talk about meditation. But you were the very, the very. I would say the very first person, maybe the second, yeah. uh, Kareem, is a, but the, uh, we had a woman who Absolutely. who was a good teacher, okay. but I think uh, who's who's as committed to helping others learn to meditate. You're, yes, you know, it's, it's good. We need more people like you. Yes, exactly. And, yes, and uh, to help people because it's a. Uh, um, not only does it detoxify the mind, but when the mind's detoxified, the body gets mm. detoxified as well. Yes. And then we have health. Yes. Yeah. And, and so meditation is good for the for physical health as well. Yeah, physical health, mental health, spiritual health, emotional health. Yes. Know, because it helps us to change from inside mm -hmm. than outside, you know. Yeah. It, it, as I said, it will take you to the center of being, you know. Mm -hmm. The meaning of the center of being, where you are much more connected with yourself, you know. Yeah. So the more you connect with yourself, the more you connect with the outside world, right? And, and well, the more you're available. The more you're available, you know. Yes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, thank you. Thanks. Um, so, um, your book is available yes. on Amazon? Yes, it is available on Amazon. So, yes. we, we put the link here so people okay. can buy through us if they want. Yes. And, and uh, that's awesome. And, yeah, thanks. And, um, I think if you have some copies of the book, you could always leave a couple yes. with us. And, yeah, and I, can, I can leave some copies. Yeah, okay. and, and we'll see if, uh, yeah. if people might want to buy the book when they come in. Yes. Uh, that would be an honor for us to, yes, thanks. to, to do that uh, with your book. And, and maybe we could have you come another time yes. and do a class for, um, yeah, exactly. for a small group. Yes, I can do we'll, like that. We'll yeah. talk about that. Yeah, we will talk about awesome. that. Thanks so much. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Cheers. Yeah. Love Thanks. you. Yeah.